so let's move to the next topic it's going to be it's going to be what I call string it's going to be what I call string methods string what string methods it's going to be string methods so when run our program you are going to level string methods so here in string methods in order to make easy modification to our strings there are multi methods multiple methods we can use during process this process when we want to let me say these are just like templates you can talk about templates these are just you can make your string in lower cases upper cases capitalize um, you can make them in copy find refined replace copy um, separate a lot a lot of methods you can use them in uh, string methods you know when you are dealing with strings because you may be having a certain program you are writing but when you want a user to put to input some confidentials or some data eh? and you want to add that's what they call to join so we use this method here join join you add that data to a certain data to already made the data already programmed the data in the back end that's what we use what they call a join method in a string in that's what we use a string method called join if you want to if you want to prompt or to uh, to ask a user when you have done a program like that of login logging in a program a login program a login uh, there's a certain login f f mm, let me call it uh, a form eh? when you try to log in and you input a low case when you input your name when it has low case cases or it is in uh, a small letters so that who programmed that program used what i call low case in that if you put an uppercase a string or a name of an uppercase it will tell you invalid name invalid name so in future to come we shall see how does how can a program prompt you to invalidate or whatever try and accept so for in time to come just keep your eyes subscribe on uh, my youtube channel you'll get you'll be the best python programmer student ever so let's deal and let's go run into string methods we are going to first deal or crack a method called lowercase so let's go so for lower case let's say you want uh, you have uh, let me say in this method we are going to talk about it it upper or once you have entered a string there are possibilities you render 
all the letters lowercase in or you put or you run those letters in small letters or in a lowercase character in this in this way we use what they call the lower the lower case method the lower case let me call it the lower case method so in the lower case method we shall we, we shall say that since it's our go, it's going to be our first method we shall use string method one so in our lower case method string method string method one let's make this capital let's make this capital string letters one will be equals so we are going to make a variable string method one should be we, we assign it to a value called this this is the lower the lower case let me say uh, let me say call it the lower case the lower case method this is the lower case method note note that every first single letter is in a capital it's capitalized in the upper method it's in upper or it's capitalized every single message starting every word as you see every value we have assigned our 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 variable this variable of ours string method one but if we want to put all this string all this string in a lower case in a small in small letters we just say we just print we just write down a simple code print remember when dealing with variables like this one in our previous tutorial so you should go back and uh, have a look in on our previous pro tutorial or video i posted last time when dealing with the variables we don't put quotes variables we can we don't put them in quotes because it's not a string so we are going to to put our variable string method one dot as you see it has brought us various many various or many methods we can add on to our string so for us we are going to choose low case okay lower case like that so when we try to run this program Mm, ignore so let me first ignore this when we try to run our program it's going to put all this string variable this string assigned to this variable string method one into lower case let us run and see you see all the first letters they have turned into small letters all the entire string variables the entire string method variable this one has turned into lowercase let us put it in uh, uppercase and see uh, let's print this into uppercase and we turn everything into what into uppercase 
let's say this is the lower the lowercase method let's say this is the, the lowercase method so it's going to turn it's going to turn it's going to turn our in the, our string assigned to the to our variable method string method one to lower cases let, let us see you see that's what I was talking about so that's what they call lower case method don't forget we use print string method one dot lower just keep it in mind so let's go you can also make other other variables for your study so but for now that's all let's go for the upper case so our next our next method is going to be actually similar to the previous one but this time round it's going to deal with uppercase putting them into capital uh, capital format so this the method is actually very similar to this one it's like a miller in a way you know it's the the reverse of the lower case giving it giving it the reverse the image we call the let we call we call the letter the upper case method the techniques are practically the same as i've told you they are practically the same as like those of the low case we will simply type down the uppercase method let's go so in this one it's just the reverse of the lower case just dot upper case so let's try to ignore this yes this we no longer like it so for this time round this we're going to call it string method two string method two dot upper dot upper case so this time round we are going to run this as in as turn this to small letters lower case so this is what I call a package method so mm -hmm. this is how we should change also this to upon there is also is upper but is upper it's like a boolean true or false if you say is upper you are asking as you are you are telling Python to tell you whether if you are dealing with this one whether it's uh, the string value the string value is upper this one or it's lower let me try maybe I may confuse you but uh, as it has come let me try to show it to you it will tell you either false cause you see is upper this one all for us this one is is lower case but so the answer we are going to get here is going to be false because it's not true code being it's all about true or false so let's go back to our let's run and see 
you see it's telling us that it's false because it's not true that this this string uh, the string have assigned it to our variable string method to it's in upper no it's in that's false so let's go to our way are we so when you run this program when you run like this you see it turns the string assigned to our variable string method to into a package so so if we change this we remove the comment and change this to lower is lower it's going to tell us true so if uh, we try to learn this it's going to give us true cause this assigned variable value to our string method to it's in lower cases so that is true so as you see here that's true okay yeah for this video we shall end there but don't forget to subscribe and we have a lot of more string methods so we have to deal with what they call replace method we have a lot of replace method separate join copy uh, we have a lot of methods to deal with when we are dealing with strings lot of methods involved there so don't forget we have to crush them seriously so just keep subscribe hint the notification bell then you'll be getting all the videos i'll be uploading each every video after some good days so don't worry soon yes thanks for subscribing thanks for joining me see you next time